Mr. Fitz here again, how you going? In this next video, I'm gonna show you how to turn on your torch, so lighting your torch, and we are going to tack and do a basic fusion weld on a piece of steel. So following from the last video, make sure you've got your flint lighter handy. You're gonna need this to light your torch. Safety gear, always make sure you got your safety gear on. I always start this by putting my right glove on to hold the torch. Now, remember also, before you start welding, you need to turn on the extraction fan to suck the gases out of the system. I'm gonna leave that off for the moment so you can hear me and you can see what I'm doing. Okay, let's get going. So, when you're working in this space, I'd like you to leave your goggles on but your flaps open. This means that your eyes are protected. This can get a bit foggy at times, so make sure you keep these nice and clean before you start welding. So we're going to start with our torch. I like to light my torch with it sitting down like this. Now these flint lighters can be hard to operate without with gloves on. So I tend to start this with my left glove off. Now we're going to start by turning on the acetylene. We're going to turn this a very small fraction, about one eighth of a turn. You can see how much that's going to be about this far. Make sure your torch is rested, so only the acetylene on, and we're gonna light her up. That's probably a bit much to start with. I could have started with a little bit less, but I'm just gonna back my flame off. So the goal for this is to get the flame so it is nicely feathering. If you see it where it is at the moment, we're going to need to add a bit more acetylene. So practice this. Left just to add more. You're going to go till approximately one third of the end is feathering like that. That's about the, the amount of oxy, uh, acetylene you want to add. The next step is we're going to add our oxygen. So very slowly open up the oxygen valve on your torch and you'll see it gets really bright and starts to change color. Now, what we're gonna do here is add more oxygen till we get a nice blue cone at the end. Now, at this point, I want you to put your flap down. Staring at the blue cone is very bad for your eyes. It's gonna give you a welding flash. So pop these down. Now you can see your flame. So you wanna keep on adding oxygen until we get a nice cone towards the tip here. More, 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 more. And you can see there's a blue cone at the base. We wanna make the second cone match up to that. Don't go crazy here with the oxygen. You don't wanna keep on going. You see it starts to go crazy colors and will blow the flame out. You wanna do just enough so the two cones just meet. So right about there. Now we're good to go. Okay, so safety first. Make sure your gloves are on, make sure your goggles are adjusted. And we're going to turn this around. Number one rule, never point this towards any person. Never point it towards yourself, never point it towards any equipment. Always try and keep this around your work area or towards the extractor fan. I never want to see a student point this at anybody. The other one, cardinal rule, never put anything in front of it. No part of your body should ever go in front of the torch. This is extremely hot, over 2,000 degrees Celsius coming out of here, and it's more than enough to melt steel, and it will just melt your fingers straight off. Very important. All right, let's go. Today I'm gonna to tack this workpiece. So the number one thing in setup for a weld is position. The way that I always start is I get my torch and I go vertical. So if you see the cone, it's going straight onto my work. It's not pointing out, it's not pointing in, it's not pointing left, it's not pointing right, it's straight down. So we come in straight vertical and then we throw it back about 20 degrees. The other important thing here is we want to get a nice distance away from the work. You don't want the blue cone touching the work it needs to sit about a cone's distance or maybe a little more away from your work. So let's sit it at that angle 
and you're just going to wait, heat it up. The more heat we add, the closer we get to melting the steel. Now you're going to see some sparks starting to form. So once those sparks start popping around, that means that it is molten. Give the torch a bit of a wiggle and all of a sudden the metal joins together. That's called a tack. So we tack the metal together. We're going to repeat that over here. So remember the cone pointing it right to the middle of your weld. Drop it back 20 degrees and about a cone's distance away from your workpiece, maybe just a fraction more. Hold it steady. This could take you a little bit of time. It might take 10, 15 seconds for it to make the steel molten. Just wait. And as soon as it's molten, you can give your torch a little bit of a wiggle. It helps the steel push around and join together. Just wait and you'll watch a little bridge join between the two bits of steel. Almost there, there we go, now it's joined. Okay, important to do that at both ends of your steel, it will hold them together. Now the last bit. I'm gonna make a weld from the right hand side to the left hand side. So it's important you always go from right to left. Same position, vertical, drop back 20 degrees. And we're gonna sit and wait until it gets molten. Starting to spark, it's almost there. Okay, now we've got a puddle. Once your puddle's formed, we're just gonna slowly push it along. You don't wanna go too fast here, or the puddle will be lost, and you'll lose your heat. If you go too slow, you find you'll start gouging the metal, and your molten steel will run down low rather than into the workpiece. So just steady, nice and slow, keeping that puddle flowing, just pushing it along. Nice and easy. This is all about a steady hand. You can use two hands on your torch, get nice control and patience. Pushing it along all the way to the end. And we're done. Happy days.